Let's walk through the making of the Wei Ying Daling video. This is Evo from Playable Agency, and you can hit us up at Playable Agency to learn more about our work with Lightform. The Wei Ying, which you will see throughout this video, are Javanese puppets. And this video is shot in my living room. So we're gonna walk through how this scene is made using the Lightform LF2 and everything found in my house. So first off, setting up the light form, I was able to set up a scene in my living room and then scan that scene to use light as the puppeteering tool. In this case, I was working solo and had no secondary camera person or puppeteer. So what I needed to do was to find a way to use light to do what I couldn't do as a puppeteer, which was both film, puppeteer, shoot, and light the scene all in one. So on the right lower corner, what you're seeing right now is the light form scan happening on the scene. Now the scanning process takes just a few minutes with the light form and it's doing a structured light scan. Uh, there's a previous video from Playable that you can check out if you need help doing your first time scanning. Uh, it just takes a few minutes to pair it to your computer and then to go ahead and scan the scene in 3D. Uh, and what you're going to get back once that's processed is a fair representation of your scene. Now, this is both a depth map and a color map. So then I can work with that information as a designer to paint with light on top of the objects you see in the scene, the flowers, the Waling, the, the Waiyang puppets here. Uh, the Waiyang Golak Purya specifically, these puppets are wooden hand rod puppets and they have some structure to them. So I was able to map onto a number of the different surfaces, including the decal that's on my window that you see me mapping to now. So as I was creating the layers of this scene, I began with both the puppets, the decal, and then the window. And you'll see I put a Gansfeld uh, filter specifically on the puppets. And this was done in order to create that sense of dynamism, the color changing effect. I wanted something that would uh, express a great deal, uh, a great range of emotion with these puppets. So I started with the Gansfeld and I mapped this scene more than once. So you are seeing a side by side with two different scenes mapped. What I did between the two scenes was move the puppets slightly. I shot a couple of test shots. And then once I had mapped it and saw what worked and didn't work, I went back and added more effects. So you can see here, I'm testing out effects and I'm testing different layers of effects in Lightform. As you can see, over time, as I'm building a scene, I am selecting layers, adding an effect or two or three, sometimes four to create a specific. So for example, when I'm trying to light up the fabric and the puppet specifically to give that sense of dynamism or electricity, I might be using three, uh, three or four different effects on the same layer. So what that looks like, and you'll see a little bit of this to the far left of these windows. Uh, these are layers like you would see in Photoshop. And as I select one, I can add a filter to it. I can add a new effect. Uh, and that could be where I'm adjusting at the top with that Gansfeld to fill in more of the color scape on one specific uh, puppet, but also, what I can do is really refine uh, the feathering, the way the colors work. Um, I can moderate as far as how quickly the effects move in and out. Um, as you can see what I'm doing with the backgrounds, I'm experimenting with different layering, but also with different generative effects to see what's going to create a good background with the puppets. And in just a few minutes, you're gonna see what this looks like when layered as uh, a storytelling element. But my goal here was to make the specific faces of the puppets pop while their background feels dreamy, otherworldly, um, and, and a bit like being uh, in outer space with these mystics. These puppets represent in, in traditional Muslim storytelling, 
Uh, they might be used to tell the stories of the Ramayana, or in this case, I, I uh, chose various uh, Sufi poets in order to bring their words to life. So you can see these effects when layered. You see the line uh, combined with the color changing. And in some case, I'm using three different layers, three different effects on the same layer um, in order to bring those effects out. So over time, as I build a scene, I might be using somewhere between seven and 15 different layers and adding surfaces and adding surface effects and experimenting in order to get different shots along the way. Um, because I could not puppeteer, I sometimes basically had to reset the scene between shots. And uh, this gave it a bit of a, a different effect, almost like working on a theater set. Um, as you can see, I finally chose that more uh, spacey background as a way in which these puppets could begin to convey that sense of connection to the whole, to the cosmos uh, that Sufi poets often do. Um, so that's baseline how I began to get this mix of detail on the face as you see um, blown out. But in, in some cases I was working with this sort of kaleidoscopic way of storytelling combined with the layers in the light form LF2. So that's what that looks like close up. And this short, uh, the Wei Yang Daleng short, the first one, um, is all puppeteered, shot by me and camera over a series of a couple of days in my living room. Uh, here's a little bit more detail. If you want more information on how to create scenes like this, I suggest you check out some of our other tutorials as well. Uh, this one in particular um, was brought to life as a memorial, but also as a proof of concept for a story that I am eager to bring uh, through these puppets. So we're looking forward to trying more of these uh, experimental shorts with you. And thanks for your feedback. We look forward to hearing what kinds of projects you want us to take on next, uh, both with these puppets and with other immersive shorts. I'm Evo at Playable Agency, and thanks a lot for tuning in. Check us out and subscribe at Playable Agency.